Okay, it looks like I'm live once again. I wasn't planning on going live tonight, but I did receive a couple of things in the last week. A few days ago, this box, oh, it's got my address on it. This box came in the mail, and it fit in my mailbox, and it looks like it's nice and tightly wrapped up. I wonder if anybody's watching. It says, no people watching. Okay. No people watching. That's okay. Maybe that's better. Maybe you see me better than you did before. I'm going to open up this package. This comes from, according to the uh, postage stamp, uh, the, um, the postmark. This is from Burnaby, BC. And I suspect that it's, it is from a gentleman who goes by the name of Fraser Henderson. Now, this is a box of samples. And it's express post. And it's very, very well wrapped. And watch me be stupid and not figure out how to open this thing. Oh, yeah. I was just going to watch whiskey reviews tonight because I'm so far behind. I think I've got it now. I think I've got it. Okay, the box, the box is open. There is some of what looks like a t-shirt of some kind. Ooh, okay. Once was a t-shirt of some kind. It's a rag. Yay. Okay, it's a rag. We've got two bottles here. Two tiny little bottles. They are Empress 1908 gin. But that's probably not what's on the, in there. Old Forester. Single barrel, Old Forester single barrel. And this other one is a, another Empress Gin, 1792 single barrel. Oh, oh, these will be interesting to taste and try. So we're talking bourbons the way it looks. And this is an interesting little, ah, there's Whiskey Throttle, new haircut. No, I don't think so. I think just the lighting is different in here. It's the same haircut I've had the last couple of weeks. I sort of I go with a trimmer and I just trim the whole the beard and the whatever is left on my head and just do it. So it's not it's not a different haircut. And you up you're up late. Well, you know, I'm always up this late. Um, I worked all night last night and I slept all day during the day, so I'm I'm up late. And so in the morning, I'm going to go to the, the 2018 Spirit Release, the Premium Spirit Release. This is their, their book. And what I want to get is, uh, is, oh, Canadian, yeah, here's what I want. I want to get some Lowen McKinnon Tequila Barrel Finish. Some 40 Creek Unity, that's the new 40 Creek Special. And maybe some Gooderham and Wart Souls. It says here, strength 49%, color medium gold, nose vanilla, English toffee, orange blossom honey, roasted almonds, body very complex mosaic, palate quick, pear drops, and green apple. Sweet honey, fried fruits, peppery, and baking spice with subtle smoke finish, spicy mouth watering, $99.99. JP Wise is 35 years old, $204.99. I think that's a bit rich for my blood. They have lot number 40, 11 year old for $99.99. Pike Creek, 21 year old European oak finish, $99.99. Pendleton, I don't care, and it's really expensive, 209 bucks. And Wayne Gretzky ice cask for $56.99. I don't know if I'm going to go for that. 
but I definitely want some of that lot 40 JP Wise is 35 year old 205 bucks now I don't know Canadian Club 41 year old Chronicles Water of Windsor 265 dollars I got the 40 year old from last year so we'll see we got two people watching yay all right there's one other thing I got here that I want to show you brace yourselves or should I say I should move this chair out of the way and wheel this into the wheelhouse it is the whiskey advent calendar it, in this box came a few things a lapel pin from Secret Spirits. Um, some sort of cumulative threshold gifts, whatever that means. And this is the Secret Spirits circle. That's a letter from their company. And this is the Whiskey Advent Calendar. I'm going to just... I got this through the deal that was um, broad, broadcast by the Scotch Test Dummies uh, not too long ago, about a month ago or so. And I couldn't get my debit card to work using their online system. So I, had a, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he said that he had um, – that he could get it for me using his credit card. And sure enough, his credit card worked online. So the membership belongs to him, and he doesn't even drink whiskey. <laughs> uh, okay, it's got, oh, it's got doors that open up. Um, is this far enough? Can I, you know, I think I should tilt this down a little bit. There, now you can see it a little better. And this opens up like so. And it has different things that you break at different times. Oh, and there's even some stuff in here. Five hundred seventy-seven of two thousand of these. There's only two thousand of these made, and I have number five hundred seventy-seven. And you're supposed to break break these. I guess they're perforated and you punch them out or something. Here is uh, another thing that you're supposed to, oh, uh, what's it say here? Is this a, a list of what it is, of what whiskeys are in here? I'm not opening this up until the 31st of, um, oh, there's a bunch of oh, descriptions of each whiskey. Or these are whiskeys that they sell. Oh, okay. Okay. And these are the one through 25. And you can put your own tasting notes in there or whatever, something like that. Now, what's in the other side? Let's just open this up. See if we can. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's cool. Anyway, I'm not going to break any of these open yet. I'm going to do that when we get to the time um, when it's uh, the beginning of December. So when I go to the whiskey festival, I can wear this pin on my lapel. And, and I'll have a look at this other stuff as we go. So I just wanted to come on for a short time and show you some of the uh, things that I received. And it's funny. It's really funny because my good friend just received his uh, email that this was coming in, that they shipped it. 
and it was here the next day. And he dropped it by my house. So that was really good. Who else have we got here? Martin Calmer's there too. Oh, good. Yeah, I was just having a look at your comment on my uh, taxi vlog. And uh, I forget what you said. I've just been just drinking a little bit of gin and tonic to cool down after coming home from stuff. Mm. I'm kind of tired, so I just wanted to come on very briefly. And we've been on for 10 minutes already. Uh, Whiskey Throttle says, I have to get some sleep, Quig, some cool stuff. Yeah, I've got to get some sleep too. G&Ts, yeah. I, I can only do one more. I have enough gin to make one more, just one more. And I have one can of tonic left. I've, I've got this worked out perfectly. I'm not going to, I'm just going to relax. I, I don't really want to do much tonight. I'm not going to go along. And you were at Port Eskeg and Elements of Isla. Oh, Elements of Isla tonight. Wow, nice. Whiskey Throttle says to me, and got to try a 50-year-old single grain. That's excellent. Wonderful. I was just looking, as I said, over this premium spirits release. And there's so much good stuff in here that I will never get to try. So I'm only going to buy four or five bottles. And uh, I just want to get the northern border thing. And I can do without the 41-year-old Canadian club. I still have the 40 I haven't opened from last year. And I might be able to get another bottle of it if I can't get it at this premium spirits release. I know a store that carries it. And my local store doesn't carry some of the things from the release that I would like. Uh, and a tasting. Oh, fabulous. Now I understand what it is. So it was Portis. Yeah, okay, now I understand what you're talking about. Porta Skeg and Elements of Isla. That was a tasting. Okay. I understand now. Like I said, I wasn't going to stay on very long. This is just a very short little, short little, I guess, show you what I got. And so that means I'm going to be doing the, the whiskey, the Scotch whiskey advent calendar um, this year. So from the last day of November, and November starts on, is it the 30th or 31st? I always forget that, how many days has what month and stuff. Uh, 30th, okay. So on the 30th, and that's a Friday, I will be opening the first whiskey of that calendar. And I will go on and so that everyone can see it on the day on the first, so I'm going to record on the 30th and put it up on the 30th, or yeah, something like that. Uh, I'm tired. I just want to watch a few vids and go to sleep. So um, sorry if I uh, am uh, cutting it short tonight. Um, and uh, whiskey and a beard says good morning. Yeah, and I'm just about to to cut it off because I. I go for very long and you look forward to these every day thank you martin and and i do have all the footage from the whiskey from the music festival i just haven't had time to go through it yet and and uh, edit and post anything yet i'm just busy catching up on the youtube that i missed when i was gone for a week and uh i'm already a day behind on uh on the whiskey stuff and i think i'm caught up on couple other things and I've got uh, the automotive stuff that I got three weeks behind so that's going to be fun too so um yeah I'm gonna bid you all good night and uh, thanks for watching and being here with me so late as it is almost well midnight here so it's past midnight where most of you people are okay um, have a good night until next time wait there's one more <laughs> Take your time, no rush. Thank you, Martin. I will see you all later. 
have yourselves a fine good night.